Hey guys, so I'm doing a new job based flowers tutorial today, and this is going to be the basic chords that you play uh, for my version of the song. So it may not be exactly as you hear on the new job uh, track, but this is going to be my own version where it goes like. So to get started with that first chord, let's go to the F major chord. It's going to be an F, A, C, E in your left hand. And then in your right hand, you play G, A, C, E. So F, A, C, E, and then G, A, C, E in your right hand. And you want to wave this chord. So you want to go from the left to the right hand side and just press all of the notes down as if you were going in like a wave. So it'll sound like... And obviously that'll, that'll take a while to learn to get really good at that, but that's just generally what I do when I play this song. But this is the basic chord here, so this is the F major chord. And then the next chord that you go to is the B flat major chord. So that's going to be B flat, F, A, and then C, D, F, A in your right hand. So that was B flat, F, A, C, D, F, A. So. And so you try these two chords together, it's going to be like... And then you go to a G minor here, so that's going to be a G, um, G, D, and then A, B flat, D in your right hand. So G, D, and then A, B flat, D in your right hand. So now you're taking this F major and you're going. And then this, <laughs> this next chord is going to be a uh, C7, which is going to be C, G, B flat in your left hand. And then in your right hand, you play D, F, A, C. And so it'll sound like that. So now you got this. So you got these four chords here, and then you can do a wave chord if you want to with all of them. So you can always do this. But you just want to practice these four chords and get them like really fluent. So you can play them at any time that you want to. And for now, I would just press them like straight down. So just go. And uh, after this, you're going to go to an F major. So we're back at that first chord again. So that's going to be a, a F, A, C, E in your left hand, and then an A in your right hand. So now you kind of, you have this round now, right? So you go from this F major to this B flat, to this G, to this C, and then we're back at the beginning. So we're back at that F. So we go to the... F, A, C, E, and A. So you want to get good at that, so just going like... <laughs> and that, that alone sounds really cool, right? And so you take that, uh, that's the first part of Flowers, and then after that part, you're going to go to this new chord. In your left hand, you're going to take G, B flat, C, E flat. So that's what you play in your left hand. And then in your right hand, you're going to play, um, I'll teach you the exact notes. So you go, so it's, that's D, B flat, E flat, B flat. So D, that's the, that's the movement we're doing. We're doing, so you go D, B flat, E flat, B flat. So B flat, E flat, B flat. And then A, E flat, G. So they'll sound like this. And then the next chord that you go to is you go down here with your left hand and you go to A flat, E flat, G. So A flat, E flat, G. And then in your right hand, um, 
One second, I gotta check this. Okay, so A flat, E flat, G in your left hand. And then your right hand you play C, E flat, G. So we're doing this movement right here. We're doing... So this movement is C, E flat, G. And then you go to E flat, G, B flat, E flat. So that was E flat, G, B flat, E flat. And then the last, uh, last part of that sequence was E flat, G, C. So E flat, G, C. So you have... <laughs> and so, so now what you should have is... And just practice this at your own pace, because I know this is going to take a while. Because flowers, this is actually not an easy, these are a lot of chords, right? It's a big chord progression. So just, uh, I'm just starting you simple on these, uh, these basic chords structures, and then we can add in the little rhythms later. But, uh, so after this point, we have, and then this last part is going to be, uh, in your left hand, you're going to play F, A flat, C, E flat. And in your right hand, you'll play G, so F, A flat, C, E flat. And then in your right hand, you play G. So let me, let me see that. Yeah, so now you go, in your right hand, you're going to go. So that's G, B flat and then D and F. So. so G, B flat, then D and F at the same time, then B flat, and then G again. So it sounds like. And what you do with your left hand is you play this, this F chord, this F, A flat, C, E flat, so. So you do the G and the B flat, and then when you get to the D and the F, you play that at the same time as you play B flat and F and A flat in your left hand. So that's B flat, F, and A flat here, while you play D and F in your right hand. So this D and this F, and then the B flat, and then you go back to the G. So it was. And then this last chord is going to be, when you go back to this G, you play E flat, G, B flat, D in your left hand. So that whole sequence sounds like this. It's like you're playing two notes in your right hand for each chord. So you go two, three. So you want to practice that on these three chords. So. And that's the basics of, uh, of these chords and flowers. So now I'm going to go into a little bit of the, the exact rhythms that, that I personally do and the, the exact melody that you want to play with your right hand. So we'll start on this uh, first chord. So I'm assuming that you've, you've learned those other chords already. And then so now we're going to start on just, just the melody. So now you want to start with this wave chord. So you go. So once you do that chord, you take it and go. So that's wave the chord, and then you go E, D, C, E, D, C, E, D, C. <laughs> and then, um, then you go to this next chord, and then you go A, A, G, F, A, G, F, A, G, F. And then the next chord is the, you don't do anything here really. Or there, or there either, really. So when you get to the C chord, though, you want to play this C again. Go to C and then A. So you go. So 
So you should have this now. So you should have this F chord. And when I go to that A, I'm taking it, I'm going to the A when I go to the F major chord. So I'm having them like intersect, like play at the exact same time. But so you want to practice that first section until you can get that like really under your fingers. So you can go. So I'll play that, I'll play that a few times just so you can really, uh, you can hear it and just either play along with me or just practice it like this. So. And then, then you go to the next chord, so that's, uh, but with the melody, that's going to be like this. Wait, let's see. Yeah. So that's going to be, you're going to start on F here, so you're going to go F, F, G, A. So that's F, G, A, and then F, E, E flat, D. So F, G, A, then F, E, E flat, D. And then when you get to that, that D right there, you want to go to the C minor chord, or this, uh, this chord in your left hand. So you're going to that next chord, which is G, B flat, C, E flat. So it'll sound like this. So. And you just do the exactly what I taught you before. So that was. And then you go down here, you do the exact same thing. And then you finish it off with this melody right here. So. So now fully. And of course, it's going to take some time to practice, but once you've got all these things handled, you should be able to go. And now lastly, I'm going to go into the real subtleties of what I do when I'm playing this. So that's the basic chords, and now you have the basic melody. And so when I'm playing this, the little extra things I add on to it are right here. So I'll do the wave chord, so I'll go, and I'll usually use these, these top two notes right here in my left hand to kind of give it some movement. So I'll go, I'll do the wave chord first. So. So I'm going like wave, and then I'm playing this F and this A here. I'm just kind of giving it movement with my left hand. That's really all I'm doing. And if you can just uh, try to copy this in some way, just go. So that was. And that was another thing right there that I did, is I took on that F major when I did this. I didn't just go from C to A. I took, uh, I went from C to A, but then I, I did a little, it's called like a gliss, or you just, you just go to the next note really quickly. So I used G as a note that I played right before I played that A. So when I, uh, when I do this, C, A, but I go like this instead of just playing A alone. So I go. So now we have. And here I go. So this, uh, with this melody, you want to start on this F and kind of go down as if you're like 
da 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 so da 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 and I'm using this uh, fourth finger here, these four fingers, to do that. And uh, lastly, the last tip I would give you for this song would be, uh, you'd want to do a gliss here, or do this, um, when you play this G, when you're going, instead of doing that, go uh, play F and G like this, so. So whenever I hit that G, I'm playing the F right before the G. And, uh, and I'll give you something cool for this, uh, this last chord here too. So you can either end it on that chord, that, that's an E flat major chord. So you... Or you can end it like this. So to teach you how I did that, that's, it's actually the same chord, but I'm, I end it like this. So I go, and then this chord I'm doing right here is I'm going to play E flat, B flat, F in my left hand. And then in my right hand, I play G, B flat, D, G. So G, B flat, D, G. So. And then I just kind of, I, I play these notes like one by one. So first I play the chord. And then I just walk up. I walk up in the notes as if it was from like the, the bottom of the keyboard going up to the to the right. So and the scale that I walk up in, if you want to really like really make it fancy, then you can use a pentatonic scale here. Um, it's it's this scale. So you play that chord that I just taught you. So and then you walk up in this scale. So only play these notes. So you're playing you're gonna play these notes right here. So C, D, F, G, B flat. C, D, F, G, B flat. And just keep playing these notes as you go up. So it'll sound like this, so. And so that's the flowers tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions.